Hello everyone and welcome back to the Dream Machine. Today we're going to get started uh, with chapter 2. Um, in the last episode we finished chapter 1, uh, suddenly <laughs> we just walked through a door and now suddenly this is uh, chapter 2. Now in the ending of the last episode we were going to go confront Mr. Morgan about having a suspicious video camera in um, our bedroom upstairs and it was hidden behind a painting. So now we're trying to find Mr. Morden, who is um, disappeared, <laughs> but he should be back here. Also, I see uh, immediately that there is a wall here that looks a bit suspicious, a secret door maybe? Yeah, it looks like a secret door. I wonder what's behind it. Mm, well, I think we're gonna need uh, like, turn on lamp. Maybe there's like a hidden switch somewhere or something. Gramophone? Probably one of the best things mankind has ever invented. Okay. Uh, bookshelf? We can pick up book. Oh, okay. I, I, I think like it's this because in every movie there is a bookcase that you pull a book out and a door opens. These binders say receipts and invoices. Some of these binders date back to the 1920s. These are mostly binders with business-related paperwork. Okay. Apparently there's not a secret switch on the bookshelf. That's a little bit disappointing, but <laughs> I'm sure we'll figure out that door. It's a box containing various tools. Um, pick up a piece of paper. Okay, now we have a book and a paper. Examine uh, Dream Journal 1973. Actually, we can open this. I keep forgetting that we can interact with the items in our inventory. Uh, Dream Journal 1973 and a star shape. Oh, we can turn the pages. January 1st, 1973. I've had this dream before. I'm sure of it. I saw a laughing um, gibbous moon with rotten maggot teeth. The stars went out like candles on one by one. My heart had stopped. Waves fell gently on some faraway beach. In my dream, the sun was blindingly bright. I tremble at the thought of these unholy dimensions. March 3rd, 1973. I'm still shaken up from last night's dream. Then a moon-shaped package arrived. As I wandered further, the sun started to set, the stars went out like candles one by one. I was a heart beating inside a stranger's body. I was engulfed by a terrifying wave, promising results so far. I look forward to my next journey. March 6th. I've had this dream before, I'm sure of it. The stars went out like... Oh, this is the same text. Um... Oh, this is just the same text over and over and over again. I didn't even realize, okay? Uh, well, it's kind of different. Um, I just started with that one when I was behind. I was engulfed by a terrifying wave. We moved. I was by the fact that the sun was missing. The dream was new yet also strangely familiar, okay? Uh, night terrors again. This one was quite bad. As the stars turned on me, I was a heart beating inside the stranger's body. As I wandered further, the sun started to set. I strongly recall something odd about the moon. A sound wave shattered me like glass. What will tomorrow night's dream bring me? The dr uh, April 11th? The dream is slipping. I have to write it down quickly. In my dream, a gigantic sun sh swallowed the earth. My fridge was full of human hearts. The stars went out like candles one by one. The sound wave shattered. Uh, this is the same text again. Uh, how long does this go on? <laughs> I don't think we need to read all of this. Uh, later, this one was quite bad. Then a moon shade package arrived. Uh... There are some words that are, like, uh, capitalized. Hmm, okay. Well, we can probably look through that later on. His dreams seem oddly repetitive. Yeah, <laughs> I realized that uh, this piece of paper is blank. Mm. 
pick up ink pad. It's an ink pad. <laughs> A tool board. Some of Mr. Morton's tools are hanging over the desk. Telephone? Uh, we can call Dixon and Son. Um, hmm. Well, let's not call anyone yet. Let's just see, because um, there is a door we can go here. So let's go see what's up here. Is Mr. Morton here, perhaps? Uh, no, that's strange. There's no one here. He must be hiding somewhere. Mm, the secret door. Uh, examine bed. I'm watching his bed just like he was watching ours last night. Does that make us even? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> examine slippers. I can see how these would come in handy. There's a chilly draft running along the floor. These don't seem to get much use. Mm, there's books, a lot of books again. It's called The Interp Interpretation of Dreams. Some books uh, concerning symbolism in dreams. Um, oh, I guess we can put this book. This was in 1973. Uh, maybe if we put them in order. Oh, I think I need to find one more book. So we have um, 93 Sun, Moon, Wave. Let's put this uh, star book here. So we need to find one more book. All right. Let's see if we can find that. I think that's actually it. Looks similar. Heart, yeah. We found it. Oh, great. Okay, this seems just like the same as the last ones. I'm not gonna read that. Uh, let's put the book there, but before I'm just gonna check out what else is there. It's a kid's chair. Does Mr. Morton have a child? Um, examine a beer bottle. I'm not familiar with this brand, but it looks like a lager. <laughs> mm, examine plant. Succulent plants are easy to maintain. That explains why this one is still alive. Electric or water boiler? All the comforts of a modern home. <laughs> okay. Turn on water. Plunger? This seems to have been used on a daily basis since 1970s. <laughs> okay. Mr. Morton's voice is coming from behind this bookshelf. Oh! Radio? It's a small transist transistor radio. Okay. Well, let's put the book here and see what happens. Uh, so 94 goes there. Alright, got all the books in order there. Mm, nothing really happened. Hmm. Well, let's go see if... Oh, there's another bookcase over there. There's even more books back there. These are mostly science fiction. Let's go see if anything happened here. Ooh, there's a scrawl. <laughs> there seems to be something written on the wall. It looks like some kind of code. Um. Okay. Hmm. Oh, we can turn the handle. Uh, turn clockwise. <laughs> oh, I I got it. Well, I didn't got it. I didn't get it fully yet. Um, the handle is uh obviously the handle of the gramophone. I mean, this marking, I would assume. But what is this? What does that look like? Pick up stamp. I'm gonna take that. The stamp has ink on it now. 
I stamped the paper. Why? It says June 18th, 1973. Uh, okay, I don't know how that's useful. <laughs> oh wait, um, we got a date? June, uh, what was it? June 18th, 1973. Uh, maybe we can find that in one of the books. So, 93 and June 18th. Maybe that has um, some information for us, maybe? Uh, June 18th, 1973, yeah. What a strange dream. And then a moon-shaped package arrived. My heart sang a beautiful song. The stars turned on me. Waves fell gently on some faraway beach. I was frightened by the fact that the sun was missing. I have to say it feels better having written this down. All right, so obviously some of these words are written in uh, large letters, capital letters, what is it? Uh, and I think we need to put them in like kind of like or an order, perhaps. So moon, heart, stars, waves, sun. Moon, heart, stars, waves, sun. Um, moon. Uh, 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 moon, heart, stars, waves, and sun? Something happened. Oh yeah, but that's not the secret door I thought I would be opening. Oh gosh, the music. That... That's terrifying, scary movie music. I don't like that. <laughs> and my headphones are super loud again. Anyway, let's go to the elevator. Oh lord. We're going inside someplace. <laughs> Alright, this is some sort of a basement. Um, don't know. Maybe this is the basement of... Um... Oh, yikes. Uh, maybe this is the basement of the apartment building where we only could get uh, with a key, which we didn't have. Can we call the elevator here? It seems to require a key, yeah. We have to stop! They just found the camera! The police are probably on their way right now! Oof. Look through window. There are a lot more cameras, I see. We can't really see what they are uh, filming, though. Oh, this looks bad. This looks really, really bad. No, that's unacceptable. We can't have another Travis incident. That was hard enough to cover up as it was. These people with their friends and families. Somebody's bound to miss them eventually. Um, well, let's go to the machine room. Confront them. Hello? No, I refuse to do that. I should have unplugged you years ago. This ends now. Wait, what are you doing? No, stop! Oh god. Okay, they only fell asleep. I thought I was gonna like explode or something. This is really weird. Okay, um, but I was expecting something like this from a clay game. <laughs> <laughs> I just think a clay game is just gonna be creepy. Mr. Morton appears to be sleeping. I'm unable to wake him up though. What happened to him? Well, we just saw him fly up, so... Paranormal or what? Also, what is this? It's some kind of machine. It looks intimidating. Uh, yeah. It's like the old version of GLaDOS. Oh no, the neurotoxin. I hope there's not gonna be any neurotoxin coming in. Uh, examine control panel? Examine display. It seems to be a power indicator of some, some kind. Six of the lights are lit up, but I don't know what that signifies. Mm, okay, we're not going to be able to do much with that. Um... Was there something else? Contraband machine. Uh, pick up left a devi device. 
what is this? <laughs> it says receiver on this one. Pick up right device. Uh, it says sender on this one. Okay. Uh, examine blueprint. Alright. Uh, REM state inducer synaptic ribbon dec decalif decalcifier? Maybe? I don't know. Thamal thalamus stimulator? Uh, synaptic sender device, power supply indicator. Uh, okay, so synaptic receiver, this device, and synaptic sender device. Okay, so these are the devices that we have. It's a complicated system. There seems to be two guys over here that these are pointing to. Hmm. All right. Uh, let's see. Can we? Um, use uh, this with the machine it doesn't fit on this doesn't seem to fit on the machine uh mr morton oh god we just put it on his head oh lord do we put this on our head that seems to have triggered something it's blurry but i think i'm seeing what was that Oh god, I'm not sure I want to... Ow, that hurts! Oh god. <laughs> screaming. Who was screaming? Was Victor screaming? Where am I? What is this place? Mr. Morton, are you in here? I guess he must be. I got an achievement mind blown well it sure is blown i hope it's not like literally blown in the other universe i guess he must be uh, okay let's try to find mr morton again oh no there's blood oh no examine blood stain it looks like a bloody handprint oh i hope the machine hasn't killed mr morton is this, uh, like, cotton? <laughs> what is... Uh, yeah. It's cute little clouds. <laughs> but there's also blood, so it's not that cute. Okay. Um, three portals? This is portal. And it probably was GLaDOS. This is an old GLaDOS. <laughs> GLaDOS in the... Um, the old days? I don't know what year this... Um, is this the 80s? I don't know. They had those, 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 uh, phone, what it, what, I don't know what they're called, telephone things where you spin the thing and uh, I don't know what it's called, but the old phones anyway. So 80s, 90s, I don't know. Um, open hatch. Examine hatch. Oh my god, the music is so peaceful. <laughs> um, examine marking. There's a chalk line drawing on the back wall. It vaguely resembles an eye. Okay. Okay, there's some sort of plates we can press. Well, um, let's do that in the next episode, uh, because we are running out of time. This is a really odd place to stop, because <laughs> we are just in another universe, and we definitely want to investigate this place a bit more. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching this episode of The Dream Machine. The game is starting to get um, weird, as I was expecting it to be quite an odd game. Um, so yeah, I hope you uh, join me for the next episode also. Goodbye!